Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com, and in this short tutorial, I'll show you how to make a dog whistle in Adobe Audition. If you've got a furry friend, have you ever noticed that its ears prick up in the air, and you're probably thinking, why on earth is that happening? Well, it's simply hearing frequencies that us as humans can't hear. Our hearing usually goes up to around 20,000 hertz, which is pretty decent. And in tomorrow's video, I'll show you how to test your hearing using Adobe Audition. But today, I'll show you how to make a dog whistle, and dogs can hear anywhere above 20,000 hertz right the way up to 45,000 hertz. So let's go ahead and make that whistle. First of all, head into the Effects menu and select Generate Tones. This will prompt you to start a new audio file if you haven't done so already. Now the trick is, to get higher than 22,050 hertz, you need to increase the sample rate, which is the quality of your audio. 44,100 is usually CD quality, 48,000 is usually video quality, and we need to go up to at least 96,000 to get higher frequencies in Adobe Audition. Click OK, and then you've got the Generate Tones prompt here. Now. I'm going to change a few settings. First of all, the bass frequency at 440 hertz is way too low. So let's put that in dog range. How about 30,000 hertz? Now this will be too high for you and I to hear, but a dog will certainly notice it. Make sure the modulation depth is zero, and also the modulation rate zero as well. So it doesn't waver, but it stays at one constant frequency. Waveform sign is absolutely fine for this purpose. Click OK. And on your screen, you'll actually see that tone has been generated. When I play it in a minute, you won't hear it, but at least this proves that it does exist. Now, another way to see that tone is to hit the spectral frequency display. And you'll see it there as a long, thin yellow line right the way up at 30,000 hertz. Now it's time to play the tone that's been generated. Unless you've got supersonic hearing, you won't hear a thing. But rest assured, if you've got a good quality audio device, your dog certainly will. It may be that your dog won't react to this tone that I play now, depending upon the platform you're watching this video on and the quality in which the audio is encoded. So let's play. And that's how you generate a dog whistle in Adobe Audition. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.